Hi guys. Okay, hey, today's video is going to be about several things. How about uh, geocaching? I'll do a little geocaching before I leave from Alberta. And we're going to do a little bit of drone flying. And we're also going to be doing... Um, I'll show you a crash I did with my uh, Mavic Pro. Uh, you'll have to stay tuned to the end of the video for that. So we got some exciting uh, video for you today. So come on along and have a look. All right, guys, how about we find a geocache before I go back to Alberta? I think there's one close here. Let's just look it up. Geocache. Yes. I'm right at this park right here. The blue dot. And the geocache is right here, one block away. Orange line tells me where to go to get there. And there's a compass that shows our direction and how many meters away. It's 164 meters away. So anyway, I will come back at you when we are closer. Uh, the geocaching app will ring and make a noise when I get within a few meters of it. So when, it, when I get to that point, I'll bring the video back up. Okay guys, the uh, app says I was getting close. <clears throat> so more than likely, it is up here. Let me just take a look around the side here first. Okay, I found a suspicious place where one might be. Let me just have a look around. Okay, <clears throat> as you can see there's some sort of equipment up here and it says mountains of equipment. More than likely, it's in this area here. Now, hang on. What I see down here is a rat trap. Now, I should have worn some gloves, I suppose. But I'm thinking that it's either this box right here or the rat trap. So I'm going to try this box right here first. And there's no lock on it. But it looks like there's a place that could have had a lock on it. So let me check this out. And see what we've got. Looks like the handle does nothing. Look at this. Surprise, surprise. We find something in here. And it is the geocache. Okay, let's open this up. And sign the logbook and then put it back where we found it so once I, I need two hands to do this so once we do that I'll uh, come back at you with the video here okay there's the box it's open this is the little path tag I'm gonna put inside it's from power saw the yellow power saw trail and here is the log book 28th of March is the last one and it's now April the 3rd I'm gonna put mine in here and sign it King Tut I do have a stamp but I didn't have it with me so I'll sign this okay King Tut April the 3rd 
and I put left path tag, I left the path tag in the, in the geocache. So we'll put this back in the plastic bag and we will place our little path tag right on top for the next person. They can come and take that and keep it. That's a keepsake for the next geocacher. There, all packed away, put back in its spot. And it said that there was a good view from here. So let's just walk up to the front. And it's cloudy over where the mountains are to the north. But uh, I guess that's where they would figure the uh, the scenery is great. We're on the rooftop here. Sun is peeking out just a little bit today. And we have East Broadway Street. Down that way. And to the west. And I am parked at a park straight, straight that way, one block. Alright guys, another geocache found in Vancouver, uh, just before I head back to Alberta, <coughs> and deposited a path tag in this one for the next geocacher. Alright, back to the park.
Okay guys, I've got to explain a little bit of this uh, crash here. I was trying to take a picture of these cars piled upon that tree and uh, I got up too high and not angled down properly and then when I finally did get the right angle uh, I'm looking at my tablet uh, for the flight and not looking at where the drone is actually. So I'm in the middle of the street with the drone uh, it's cleared all the trees and cleared all the light poles, but uh, when I wanted to swing around the uh, cars on that big old tree there, watch what happens here when I uh, run into a problem. It'll be just about pretty soon. <laughs> there you can see I actually ran into someone's balcony. Uh, four floors, five floors up. So I got the manager and we went and got it. Hey, I'd appreciate it if you, uh, any non-subscribers come along and watch. I appreciate you subscribing. Uh, love the comments. I, uh, answer them all. And, uh, give me that thumbs up. Or if you don't like it, give me that thumbs down. I really don't care. Uh, but I'm at 450 geo uh, uh, subscribers right now. I need to make it to 500 so I can become an Amazon affiliate without being kicked off every so often. They require 500 um, subscribers in order to stay connected. So I'm at 450 as of today, um, April the 9th. And I need, like I said, 50 more. So please subscribe, join and um, comment. I love the comments because I uh, uh, love to read them and I uh, answer every single one of them. So if you do make a comment, you know that you're going to get a reply, not just the heart uh, notification. Uh, click the little bell. That'll notify you every time a new video comes out that I do put one out. And now that I'm heading back to Alberta, I'm going to probably put out a, a little more videos than I have been in the past because I've been pretty pretty static and we're getting back into the nomadic mode for a little bit here so uh, as the name goes uh, nomadic van man uh, tell all your friends to subscribe bring them on in um, I'm sure you'll enjoy uh, at least one or two videos that I put out and I do appreciate every single one of you uh, that do subscribe um, uh, thank you very much, and please stay subscribed. All right, we'll talk to you in a bit.